Trying to do something. That's yo, listen, you mess with money. The worst part is counting back. That's the worst part. That's the worst part. Wait, 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 wait. I got I got robber drink. I got Kenyan of two drinks. You got the same wings. Man, some of me $50. This is crazy. This is crazy. I think the word still drunk, and let me tell you something, it ain't cool. First of all, white folks being your business. They like, did you go out last night? I'm like. <laughs> but the sisters get it straight. Shit come up to me, so like, what you got on? Hennessy, come on, what is that? What fragrance is that? Heineken? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Man. And I hate work too, man. Work, they, you know what's crazy about work? They give you 10 sick days, then they mad if you use one. That's crazy. I will throw up on your desk. You can, as far as I'm concerned, a hangover is a sick day. My boss, my boss, cool, but he do this all the time. He do this stuff. That's his mood when he come in the shop. He just, and he goes and asked, well, so um, did you go out last, you know, last night or this weekend? And I was like, he got me doing it. Then I started doing it. I was like, yeah, I got drunk as hell. That's what, that's what <laughs> but you know what's crazy at work, man, when everybody working, your co-workers and like the, the, like the Powerball is like $300 million or something. And we all throw money in. Ain't that the best? Everybody throws like 10 bucks in. Everybody's dreaming. That is the best. But... It's always somebody you work with that keeps saying, I wouldn't stop working. You ever hear that? You hear that foolishness? I wouldn't stop working. <laughs> when you get out of here, let me tell you something right now. You let me win the lottery. I'm showing up with pajamas on, <laughs> flip flops, a cigar. I'm going to have a rich man leg. I'm going to have a rich, rich ass. <laughs> <laughs> Me, sir, you gotta get off the premises. Dog, dog, I will buy this whole place. You? I'll buy this whole joint. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Cause this world, but you gotta work. You gotta work. You gotta get your money. You know what I'm saying? You got to work. Everything's so expensive. Look at the movies. You take the kids to the movies, a hundred dollars. It's easy. When my sons was little, we had they had assignments. We was the innovator. We was the pioneers of going to the dollar store, Wawa, wow, wow, and all of that. We just they all had is you, you, you got all the chips and crackers, all right? You, you got the candy, all right? You, you got the soda, all right? And me, I had a bucket of chicken wrapped up like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, y'all, for y'all little brother wake up. Come on. <laughs> the lady was like, your son smell good. <laughs> Eleven herbs and spices, baby. That's I remember, I remember, I dropped the coleslaw, right? She was like, "What's that?" I was like, "My son said." That's his. Here we go. Get in there. Get in there. I remember my son too came out. He thought he was gonna get five dollars for his tooth. Five dollars. I was like, "Listen, I know personally the two fairy group. I know that for a fact. Five dollars for a tooth. Well, let's take them all out and pay the electric bill." <laughs> When I'm cracking in chicks, I'm at the light. I'm in the hood. When I'm cracking in chicks, I'm at the light. She just, you know, she might just got a hydrant. She got the light for about two dollars. Two dollars, baby. I was like, I don't want that. That's a going out of business sale. That's a clearance. That's irregular. That's a, I got older now, you know, what you what you hit. I remember being, you know, I remember being 30, right? My walk was quick. 
When I was 30, I was determined, quick. Mm. That's how I moved through things. I was just, let's, let's do this. You know, then you creep up, you know, you get to 40, you're still determined, and everything, you gate a little bit, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your gate changed a little bit. Then you get to 50, that thing, you strong, right? But like, your body, it's almost like the warranty went out. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking across the street, my knee was like, nope, slow down, no, slow down. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's what you need to be like, I'll play, okay? Wait, wait, what you doing, brother? You got to tell us when you pick it up the pace. You tell us first. And we say, go. Don't just start walking. <laughs> I remember Saturday night, I was in Saturday. Mm, I'm in the party, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm just, mm, tearing it up, right? Tuesday, my back was like, nah, 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 call in, man. Call in. No, no, you was about that. About that BS Saturday night, wasn't you? Yeah, I'm walking, walking around the house like, I don't know what the hell's going on with this. <laughs> In 50, man, you think, I start saying words I've never said before in my life. I start saying, like, what, what is this nonsense? I never said that. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> this is a bunch of foolishness. You know you get older when he said I was in traffic going like this to people. You know, you know you're older, you're older when you go, baby, fix me some supper. You old as hell. Like, baby, where are my trousers? This like, Where my slacks at? You old as hell. Where my, you know you're older, cat, when you start, when you say Jack, and you, when you get back, listen here, Jack, you old as <laughs> Hold up, Jack. You just, you, yeah, a sucker. There's a sucker over here. Where did that come from? I'm just, it's crazy. My uncle had to drink with my uncle, man. I never drank my uncle, uncle, 72. Hey, anybody heard of uh, Cutty Sark? Cutty Sark. Cutty Sark, Cutty Sark, whatever, you know that, anybody know that drink, that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. whew, Lord, that was my birthday, he's like, nephew, come on over here, man, have some drink with your uncle, I never drank, <laughs> now I know why he talk like that, you know what I'm saying, when I took a shot, I was like, <laughs> 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 uncle crazy, I should have known he was crazy, anybody fight like this, come on now, Come on, when they roll their hands, you get knocked out. Come on now, man. Would you say something? <laughs> oh man, he took take me on my lady friend house. You know, you know you're older, you got a lady friend. Take my lady friend. <laughs> I love the devil, man. I love family, man. Man, the dating world is crazy, man. I remember getting uh, silk pajamas. Like your ex wife. I used to never get real women always get nice stuff. We always get stuff like Simpsons boxes or something like that. Or uh, Eagles tie. We get stuff like that. Ladies get nice stuff. One year, man, I got I got silk pajamas dog. That thing. Woo! Felt like a king. Had them things. I even chicked up a little bit because my girl was like, Wait, how they feel? I was like, these is nice. <laughs> I wore them things to work. <laughs> they like, you had a uniform. I was like, I will buy this whole place. <laughs> they like, you work here. How you want <laughs> It was like my body was having a party when I walked in the thing. I was so comfortable. But the thing of it was, was like, uh, uh, nobody told, I tried to return to sexy. So like, nobody told me that uh, satin sheets and silk pajamas don't go together. <laughs> So I ran in the room, jumped on the bed, slid off the bed, grabbed the bedpost. My girl was like, give me your hand. I was like, save yourself. <laughs> so then I hit the floor, <laughs> pressed my back. I had to stay on the floor. I had to stay. She's like, you want to get up there? I said, no, 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 leave me here. I'm good. Leave me here. <laughs> Just soaking my own juices. <laughs> just, oh man, what a night, man. The paramedics came, they start, neighbors talking about we was having a 
you know, a rough time, rough sex. I was like, mind your business, okay? So what? No. <laughs> man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Then I, I have fun and, and I experience a lot of stuff. So like I teach school, so I had like a student in there. First of all, the kids was messing with this one kid, right? And they was picking on him, and he was a little watery. I was like, what's going on? And he was like, they keep teasing me, saying my name is Extra Ghetto. That's what the kids tell him. First of all, the ringleader, I told her, I was like, shut up, Jaleeka. <laughs> but this name, it was a little, this name was a little rough. It was Cartavion. Now listen. Cartavion. So I had to help him, you know, I was like, listen, man, don't listen to them. First of all, your name, first of all, let's break your name down. Your name is Cartavion. So we'll start out with Cart. All right, Cart, one of the most, um, one of the greatest inventions to the human endeavor. All right, Cart, good. Tavion, Tavion, that's Latin. That's an ancient Roman name. Don't get it, you know, twisted. I said, so your name kind of heroic. All right, it's almost, it's like a medieval ghetto, all right? It's a Cartavion, that's how, you know what I'm saying? So he smiled, he felt better, I felt good for helping him out. But then in my mind, I was like, I hope things change in the future because his application going straight in the trash. That's what, that's what, I felt bad. But you know, that's, I mean, first of all, what's in the name? It gotta start somewhere, right? Just like Leroy, Leroy. People don't know, Leroy's French. That was royal. That's what that means. Just like the word Leon. Leon was a uh, lion. That's French for lion. The problem is, once, you know, black folk wanted like some importance to the names back in the day. They found those names to be of um, weight. They're important. But the problem is, is once Three Leons get locked up, that's it, the name is in the trash. That's what, that's what. I'm, <laughs> I'm just dropping some truth on him. <laughs> you know how you find For me, mom, black mom, we all survivors in here too, black moms. Clap it up for the black moms, man, we survivors. The black mom lived by threats. Didn't they? She drop a threat bomb, a mom bomb. That's what I used to call. Straighten your face out for I straighten it out for you. Now see now, wait a minute. That's once you process it, you don't want to, you don't want her to straighten it out, because it's not gonna be straight. See, that was the warning. So is, is it this or that? You know what I'm saying? Where the moms at? Where the moms at? You know you said, I'm gonna knock you out. That's what it Don't make me hurt you. That's what it you know my mom told me one time, boy, you run out in that street, I'm gonna kill you. Dad. The choices are very limited here. I'm just gonna stay on the curb to everything clear up. <laughs> oh man. So wait a minute, I wanna get I wanna get to know how now how are y'all though? What do y'all do? It's just reserved. So what y'all do? What do y'all I'm with the DJ. You with the DJ? With them. You with her? You have no idea you and him. Y'all just sat down, huh? Y'all just like, baby, let's sit here. Shit. You can just sit here. Fuck. I don't care. And you just tagged along. You was like, oh, we in free? This is good stuff. Well, thank you for being here. How you doing, mama? Good to see you. How you doing, sir? How you doing, man? What you, how, how, what you look good, man. How old are you, bro? 55, sharp, see that's the blessing, you know what I'm saying? We timeless, you can never tell, what you do for a living, bro? Mechanic, all right, you got the garage, everything, what's your name, oh, what's your name? Mike, okay, I thought it was Tito or something. Was Tito with the garage got all the drugs, I'm sorry, I'm okay, everywhere in America, Tito that had the garages as the drugs. I know that. I'm happy you ain't say Tito or Angel. I said Angel got all the coke in here. That's what he got. That's what he got in here. He's good, mama. How y'all doing? This is the blessed table right here, right? Blessed table. Excuse me for my ignorance, but 
That's who I <laughs> Thank you for laughing. How y'all doing right there? Y'all married right here? Y'all too? Yeah, how long? 34 years. 34 years? Wait a minute, who said that? Was that y'all or was that them? Oh, that was y'all. I was talking to them. That's y'all. That's y'all. That's y'all. Look at you, you just nod, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah. That's how you survive, right? Yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. What she said. That's what yeah, yeah. This is the money table right here. How you doing, big man? How you doing? This is the money table right there. That's right, that's right. Money owed out. That's what the home is. I'm messing with y'all. Everybody owe money. You ever swipe your card? And listen, I'll come from broke stuff. You ever swipe your card and sweat it out? <laughs> and you like. <laughs> and then they go. Well, that's a bad feeling, yo. That's a I'm gonna run, put my car in the thing from gas, and ran out with it after about eight, nine, seven. And when I said, just go stop. I said, oh, damn. It was not cool, not cool. How you ladies doing right there at the table right there? How y'all doing? All right, thanks for being in the building. Y'all friends? Yes. Co-workers? Yes. Where you work at? Dark. Dark? All right, all right. Bus drivers? That's what I'm talking about. You don't get too many of the crazies down here, do you? You don't get too many. In the city, you get a lot of crazies. I hate the crazies, man. I mean, I don't hate them, but I'm just like, you know, the crazies are something else. Especially for, you know, I like the homeless crazy dude that always, you know, I give money to him. The guy that's always at the 7-Eleven. That's you get money. He's a, he's a, welcome, sir. Welcome to 7-Eleven. That's the I look out for him. You know what I'm saying? At least he's doing a service. But I'm going to tell y'all something. And I'll pick on homeless because any day we could all be homeless in here. You know what I'm saying? One false move, you you know, is right there. But one day I was in traffic and these like homeless folk was just making out. They was just kissing like, I mean like, yo, I, I couldn't stop looking at it. It was compelling. I was just looking, I was like, what is going on? No, okay. Then I was like, man, maybe I'm gonna stop. I'm not hating him, man. I'm not hating on, on, on the folks, man. He might have said something real smooth. He might have been like, look here, baby. Um, these guys got you sleeping in the park. I stay under 95. <laughs> slick. The old cats be slick, man. Yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta be lying. I was like, he already just hey, good for him, man. You know what I'm saying? He got companionship on these streets. <laughs> you know, you know, it. some of the old school in here. I love y'all old school. Clap it off for yourselves, old school. And don't worry, y'all, he gonna be done soon. Don't worry. I know y'all need to get the bed. <laughs> what time is this over? I don't mess with those school man. Them cats straighten their clothes out when they cuss you out. I don't mess with it. Look here, young boy. Um, <laughs> you just always look at the cuff. We, we ain't doing none of that tonight, okay? So step off. <laughs> I don't mess with nobody say step off. That, that either mean you a real OG or you just did 25 years. I don't, no, sir. <laughs> I always try to be respectful, you know, the folk. There's so many disrespectful. You also know somebody gonna be disrespectful when they say they not gonna be there. You ever hear that? I don't wanna be disrespectful, but uh, you know something disrespectful coming. A man, woman, black. That's me. Dog, that's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? A disrespectful question is, um, I'm in the Walgreens, right? So I had on some nice stuff, you know, because I was just came. From a, uh, from a funeral. So the brother asked me that. I knew this guy. He was like, Brick, where you coming from, man? I said, oh, I'm just coming from a man's funeral and stuff. And he was like, how was it? Now, 
That's the craziest question. I don't even know how to answer that. Well, I don't know. It was packed. You know, There's a lot of chicks there. Uh, everybody was sharp. I don't know what the, the food was banging. I don't know. You know, some of y'all just go for the weight too. Some of y'all just go for the pre pass and. But let me tell y'all something too. We, we friends are here, so I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna give y'all some, some good rap here. Like, right? stop being at the repast or the wait and being judgmental. Talking about the macaroni and cheese dry. Stop, stop it. Right. Stop it. We trying to celebrate this life. Y'all talking about the green beans ain't got no season in them. Stop it. <laughs> Who made this cornbread? This is right. <laughs> It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Then I travel like phrases, like I run into stuff and I notice when, when humans, when we talk and we have these phrases that we use, and these phrases fix stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a phrase like that. Like that is an in-between phrase that kind of can get you out of a jam. All right? It's like I'm in the barber shop and they was like, yo, you see Ronnie, man? Ronnie's still getting high. That's what they asked me. I said, I don't think you're getting high like that. <laughs> Which means Ronnie gets blasted. But you ain't here for me. Break ain't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> but they asked you something. Yo, bro, you still mess with Kenya? I don't mess with Kenya like that. <laughs> that means you, you rocking with Kenya all the time. That's what that means. You know, but he, he keep you out of the jam. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I want to tell y'all something too. No drunk texting or anything texting like that. Watch out. Too much technology. All right. Do not do that. I know everybody's, you know, keeps it tight in here, but I made a mistake. I'm just telling you so I can tell you my mistake. So I'm sitting on my phone and I'm texting my girl and I'm like, hey, baby, it's going down tonight. We're going to rock out. We swinging from the chandelier. We rolling all over this dining room table. Everything is hot. Send. And I'm sitting there, and then, you know, a little freaky, right? A little freaky text. Send. So about 5 30, almost 6 in the morning, my sister called me, and she's like, You need to call your aunt and apologize. <laughs> My house eight years, so my aunt at the house the whole like this. Mm. <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> She's looking at me. <laughs> Yo, watch this. Hey, let me tell you something. Spell check gets you in trouble all the time. All the time. Bad foolishness. I said, my boy, happy birthday. So I said, happy birthday, big homie. But it came out big homo. He got, <laughs> he got mad. He was, he was like, bleep you. And I was, I said, nah, dog, that was spell check. He was like, bleep you, spell check. That's what he said. <laughs> Same thing with my girl. I tried to send my girl in the middle of the day. I was like, I was like, uh, how's my beautiful, that's what I said, the message. I said, how's my beautiful Sharonda? So, first of all, her name is Shonda. So, she, yeah, she sent me a message back. I don't know, how is she? I was like, oh, babe, that was a mistake. She was like, was it? That's me. So now I'm like, uh, I'm in a game of chick chess now. You don't want me in chick chess, brother. That's a bad look. So I called myself, all right. I said, all right, listen, I'm going to shut this down right now. I'm going to move the knight. So I'm going to move the knight on the board. I got aggressive. I said, listen, babe, listen, spell check on these, on these devices and things. It's set. The algorithms are set for popular and familiar phrases and they link them and put them together. She said, oh, so Sharonda, popular and familiar? I was like, I quit, I just turned it to, just turned the whole board over. Y'all watch it, man, relationships are not easy, bro. They are not easy. First of all, I tell all the fellas too, meet your lady. Hey, you take care of your lady, she take care of you, all right? And your lady know if you broke or something and it's somewhere around her birthday, she know you broke, come up with something. I don't, I don't give a darn if it's a, 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 a two goldfish. Two goldfish in the bowl. You just 
baby, this me and you, baby. That's me. That's love in this glass. Happy birthday. That's what it is. This relationship is tough, man. Tough. I don't know. It's crazy. I remember I took my girl dancing, and the whole time she in the party, she's staring at me, talking about I'm looking at this chick. So my girl said, I really went out there, she's looking at me. And she's talking about, I seen you. And I'm telling I'm getting a little risky here. I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell you the truth. My girl will say, I seen you looking at that girl, big bolt. I seen you. I said, you seen them too? That's what I'm <laughs> Just being real, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go right here with you, for real, real talk. We, we, we grown folks in here, so I'm gonna tell you something right now. Guys, ladies, women, men do not mean it. We are like animals in the brain sometimes. We don't mean it. We just look, because that's what we do. We, you know, we can't help it. We just see it. And we just, you know, oh, okay, and we can't help it. It's no offense. We just can't help it. You know what I'm saying? Because we kind of stupid, you know? You know, and, and women, see, here's the, here's the messed up part. See, we stupid. But women smart. <laughs> women got us beat a hundred times. They'll see you be walking in the mall with your girl and some sexy dude will come your way, your girl will do something like this. Ew, look at his shirt. <laughs> and you're stupid behind looking too. You like, yo, this shirt all tight. She like, look at him, baby. You must play football. She like, mm. <laughs> you got your dumb behind Logan. See, I learned though. I learned. I learned from y'all. Y'all the best, so I learned. You know. So now, you know what I'm saying? This girl who's in the mall. This girl had all these like crazy booty shorts. And I just said, I said, babe, look at that foolishness. Don't ever dress like that, babe. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? And women on top of stuff, you know, the nurturing and everything. It's like, like y'all will go to the doctors for anything. <laughs> Crack your nail or something. I'm like, oh my god, I know it hurt too much, I'm going to the doctor. <laughs> Fellas, we don't like that. I hate the doctor. I hate going to the doctors. First of all, I hate that smock. They still got the same smock they've been using for like 50 years. That thing to tie up right here. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Your butt hanging, your back hanging out. You know, you ever have to change rooms? You're like, oh, oh, we got to change rooms, sir. You're like, oh man, what the? What's going on? That's right. Then you got to sit in that room. Sometimes it's cold in there. You got on nothing but drawers, and then you sitting on that table. And that table got that crazy paper. The table like. <laughs> you better make sure your butt clean too. Because if you get up and the paper get up with you. That ain't cool, yo. That's. Doc, Doc, what is this, Doc? This place is disgusting. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, just bounce. That's all we do. I'm just bounce. Crazy, man. But you know, I'm happy Don brought me down here, man. I just wanted to have fun with y'all, man. When Don called me up, Dream called me up, I said, let's do it, brother. Let's go. We had rocked out last year, man. Dope. It was fantastic. 
And uh, man, I really appreciate appreciate y'all's love and keep this thing going and embrace comedy, man, and just laugh because that's what we need, man. That, you know what I mean? I try to, y'all help me out because I get to get some stuff like therapy in here. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So I'm happy to be in here with y'all, spending Saturday night, man, and, and uh, y'all enjoy your weekend. And I love y'all, man. My name is Todd Bray Davidson. Hit me up on Facebook, Bray Davidson. On IG, Mr. Bray 26, man. Peace, y'all. Go, 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 go